Hello and welcome to the very first session of the X-Series, a collaboration between GBS and TLCC. Our hosts today are two top-notch trainers from TLCC, Howard Greenberg and Paul De La Nebbia. They're going to walk us through an introduction to X-Pages development. Without further ado, here is Howard. Welcome everyone to the introduction to X-Pages development webinar. Uh, we have been doing these uh, throughout this year and find there is a lot of interest, a lot of people just getting started on X-Pages, so we're, we're glad to see that. Uh, my name is Howard Greenberg, and my partner at TLCC is Paul De La Nebbia, and we'll be your instructors today. Also on the uh, questions, uh, he won't be speaking, but we have Rob Evangelista from TLCC, so he will be helping us with your questions. Uh, just a brief uh, advertisement. Uh, on TLCC, we develop uh, technical courses that are either self-paced or instructor-led, and we concentrate on the Lotus product set, primarily Notes and Domino. We have 18 technical courses for developers and admins uh, on all sorts of topics from beginner to advanced uh, on all the different languages like Lotus Script and Java and JavaScript and XML. We have uh, also have user courses on Notes, same time, and quicker, and these are delivered in the Notes client or a web browser using our Domino server and are very easy to deploy and customize. Uh, regarding our XPages curriculum, we have three XPages courses, uh, JavaScript and two XPages courses, and these add up to 11 days of training if you were to do it full time. Now you can take these self-paced, uh, or we have an instructor-led online, and we do have a class kicking off on XPages next week on September 20th, uh, if you're interested, get in touch with us here at TLCC. Also our courses are available through your GBS salesperson, so if you are a GBS customer, uh, you can get the courses through GBS, they do resell our products. A word about the uh, webinar today. We are going to be uh, converting a basic notes application to X pages. Uh, so the prerequisites are uh, most of you are probably an experienced notes and dominant developer. Some of you have probably been doing it for quite a few years, but you have not yet started with X pages. So that would be the ideal audience. Uh, if you have been doing some work with X pages for a while, you'll probably be kind of bored because we are going to start at the beginning. And so we're going to convert a notes application uh, to display a view and display documents and allow users to create and edit those documents. Uh, the class we're going to go through or the webinar we're going to go through is based on our self-paced introduction to XPages development course. And we did suggest you have that installed already. If not, you can go to our website, the URL is there, and register and download this course. Uh, the activities we are doing in this webinar will be uh, done using this, this self-paced course. Also, if you ever have any questions or want to review the material, everything is in this self-paced course that we're going to cover today, plus a lot more. So this is a good resource for you. And we will not be uh, putting out any slides for this webinar since all the material is covered in, in, in very detailed lessons in this self-paced course. Okay, uh, let me uh, switch over and show you uh, the databases that we're going to be working in and that got installed as part of your uh, course that you should have installed already. So the primary database is the lessons database. And when you installed the self-paced course, that was installed in your notes data directory. And just to point out, if you're having trouble finding that on your notes workspace, and you go to File, Open, Lotus Notes Application, on your local computer, there's a directory called TLCC. And in that directory, uh, you will have a demo directory. And then you will have another directory called XP85INTR. In that directory are all the databases for the introduction to XPages development course. 
The lessons is the one you want to start in, and the file name is schedule.nsf, uh, and it's also uh, highlighted on my screen, Introduction to XPages Development 8.5 Lessons. So when you open that up, you will see a notes database with lessons. There's a start here section that will talk about setting up the course and how the course works. Uh, module one, if you have not worked with Dominant Designer 8.5, which is the new Dominant Designer in Eclipse, then you might want to review module one. This is a really good introduction to Dominant Designer 8.5 and how to use things like the Applications Navigator. We're going to spend most of the webinar in Module 2 and talking about what X pages are and how to create an X page and then add uh, controls to display a view and documents and edit documents using X pages. So in the course, we're going to be working with several databases, uh, but as I said, the goal is to convert a notes application to X pages. So this is our notes application. It's a very simple customer application. And we have customer documents here and several different views to examine this, these customers by region or by name. Uh, if we open up a document, you'll see that it's a very notes-centric type application. I can go into edit mode, and we have radio buttons and check boxes and list boxes and things like that. And if I go to view this application in a browser, uh, we haven't really converted this application for the web, but you know the standard notes Domino web preview uh, looks similar to this, and it uh, it's you know not very you know good looking at, out of the box. You know many of you who have done Domino web development know, you know you can add tweaks and create specific forms for Domino web applications uh, and take that extra step and make the Domino web application look good and work good. Let me take a, stop and take a little poll here and uh, just kind of uh, get a feel for everyone's uh, background. Uh, I'm going to start a poll and let us know if you're a Notes Domino developer and if so, if you do that full time or, or part time or if you've never done any Notes and Domino development at all. Okay, so we got some questions rolling in here. Okay, we got about 85% of you have voted. I'm going to close the polls now. And uh, we'll share the results so you can kind of see where you're at. <clears throat> and so the vast uh, majority of you have done some development in notes. Uh, most of you full-time, but, but a lot of you uh, are part-time. So that's good. Uh, if you haven't done any notes and dominant development, some of the uh, things we're talking about, like documents, forms, and views, may be a little um, strange to you. And we do have a course, a free course you can get at our website called Introduction to Domino Development that does explain some of those development concepts. Uh, why I'm here, let me do another poll since we're um, in a polling mood here. And let's understand what everyone's done with X pages so far. So we have another poll if you can answer, um, uh, tell us what experience you have with X pages. Okay, we got a lot of the questions coming in. Uh, so that's about 90% of you. I'm going to go ahead and close the poll and share the results. So. Uh, luckily, we don't have any X pages experts here. Uh, most of you haven't done anything at, at all yet, and some of you have done a little bit of experimenting. So that's good. That's that's uh, the target audience is, is you guys. You know, we want the person who has not done any experience. And just so we kind of know uh, uh, if you've installed the course in terms of the activities, let me just ask a quick question: If you've already installed the uh, TLCC course yet? Okay, looks like we're running about 60-40. Uh, 
I'm going to go ahead and stop the poll and uh, share those results. So uh, over half of you have installed this course. If you haven't installed it, uh, we're probably going to uh, do all the activities at the end during the Q&A. So you can participate in the Q&A or you can start on the activities. Uh, but you can always come back at any time and download this course and do the activities and go through the lessons again, as I said before. Okay, so let's go on and get started. And let's talk about how um, XPages fit in. And before we do this, let's kind of review the traditional domino and notes design. And in an application uh, to us old timers, a database, we have uh, forms and views, and those are design elements and all our data is stored in documents. And the user uses the form to create new documents. So the form defines our data in terms of the fields that are on that form. Then the users use the view, and the view shows all the documents in, in a nicely formatted way, and we can use the view to open up the documents. Again, the form is our template to viewing the information in those documents. So there's a very tight relationship between forms and documents and views. And everything has to be in the same application. You can't have a view that displays information from other databases. So let's contrast that to X pages. And the idea, the, the, the um, very nice thing about X pages is that they are in a presentation layer that is separated out from our data. So the notes client or browser makes a request through the Domino server and the XPages run in what's called the XSP engine. And that is going to serve up the XPages. Then if the XPages need to display information from a Domino database, they will use what's called a data source. And the data source is the way we define the data that's accessible on that particular X page. And we can view documents or we can view uh, views in a column format. And the X pages don't have to be in the same application as our data source. Our data source can point to other applications. So we can have all our X pages in one Domino application, and those X pages can go out and gather data from many different other Domino applications. Now, X pages are their own design element, uh, new in 8.5. In addition, we also have custom controls. Now, those are like subforms uh, to a Domino developer. And we also have style sheets, which were there before. Uh, where we can style our, our X pages. And then there's also something called themes. All of these X page design elements get compiled when you save them and create a Java class file. And that's that Java class files that gets run on the uh, Domino server via the XSP engine to uh, show the user the X pages that you have created. Now, in terms of programming languages, the key programming language in an X page is JavaScript. So there's two flavors of this. We have JavaScript that runs on the browser or the notes client, and that's called client-side JavaScript. And if you've done any web development before, then you probably have written client-side JavaScript, possibly using you know, Domino Forms uh, or some other web development tool. And those use the web HTML document object model. We also have something called server-side JavaScript. And this runs on the Domino server. And because it's running on the Domino server, we can access Domino data. And we can access the complete Domino object model. So anyone who's done any WordScript programming will be very, very familiar with the Domino object model. That's your notes views and your notes.